I tried dropshipping with paid TikTok ads and here are the results. Two weeks ago, I tried dropshipping with only $50 and well. <clears throat> so today we're gonna test our website, the multi-bottle and see if paid ads are gonna be better or if we should just move on to a new product. So let's get right into it. Day one. So let's start by creating some ads. Now I don't have the product myself, so these ads are just made from content I found online. Normally you should get UGC content, which stands for user generated content, since it performs a lot better, but we don't really have time to ship the product to an influencer, so let's just hope for the best. Then let's upload them to TikTok. Now we're gonna set up the campaign as a CBO. Then we're gonna do $50 a day, which is the minimum. Select your pixel and choose complete payment. Then remove these two and select 18 to 55 plus since we don't want some 13 year old to steal their mom's credit card. Then we're gonna select 7 to 24. Now because I connected my TikTok account to the ads manager, we can choose our ads here. And let's launch. So the day we launched, the ads only spent $3.64 for some reason. If we go to the Shopify dashboard, we have 61 store sessions one ad to cart and no sales. Day two. Day two was Black Friday and we spent exactly $50, but our CPM was pretty high at $22. This is probably due to everybody are advertising on Black Friday. Also our CPC was $5 and it should be like 10 to 20 cents. And our CTR was 0.45% when it should be at least 1%. On the Shopify dashboard, we had 80 store sessions, one ad to cart and zero sales. Day three. We spent $50 and got an even higher CPM, but our CPC was lower and CTR higher. But these are still very bad stats. But on the Shopify dashboard, things started to look better. We got 70 store sessions, 5 add to cart, 3 reach checkout, and 1 sale. Day 4. Going into day 4, we again got a $21 CPM, so I decided to cut the ads at $7 spent. In total, we had spent $111 to make one sale. I got back to the drawing board and decided that things needed to change. Day 5. I was spending all day studying TikTok ads and TikTok strategies, as well as making new ads, so we had $0 in ad spend. Day 6. On day 6, I was ready with new ads and a new strategy. I decided instead of using my post, I would just create the ads directly from the ads manager. I also added Canada and automated creative optimization. Then I also raised the budget to $100 a day so I could lose my money faster. After spending $26, I decided to cut the campaign since the CPC was too high. After spending $140 to get one sale, I decided that it was time to try a new product. Day 7. On day 7 the new product and website was ready to be tested, so we spent $77 on ads and had a pretty good CPM, bad CPC, and bad CTR. On the Shopify dashboard we had 107 store sessions with 5 add to cart and 2 reach checkout, and 0 sales. Day 8 On day 8 I created new ads and published them. Then, with only 5 cents in ad spend, 2 video views, we got our first sale. Then we got another sale, and another sale, and another sale, and we ended that day with $202 in revenue. Come on, man! That's too easy! But with the cost of ads, fulfillment, and payment processor, we have a solid $3.96 in profits. Here's the profit and loss sheet for this challenge. So we lost a total of $216, and that's why you need a budget of minimum $1,000 to $2,000 when doing paid ads. But most people don't have that kind of money lying around. And that's why I'm gonna retry organic dropshipping with TikTok in my next video. And this time we're gonna do it with a US SIM card, so we can target the US from Europe. I upload videos every Friday at 4 p.m. EST, so subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about the video next week. If you have any questions or just want to learn more, join my Discord, link in the description. By the way, this video right here has 4,193 likes. Maybe you'll like it too. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you Friday.